Guys, today I'm taking a look at a new gaming headset from Ixa, and I've got to say, it's pretty nice. Why? Find out in just a few seconds. What's up YouTube? Dave here with Scene Through a Lens, and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech, so if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on that bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So guys, there are a ton of gaming headsets out there, but I've got to say that no matter what you need, Ixa have got something for everyone. And this is the E7000 Fenra. It's another great addition to a very long lineup. Now, I just have to say that Ixa sent me this E7000 Fenra in exchange for my honest opinion. And if you follow my channel, you'll know that whether I buy something myself or whether I get sent it, you'll always get my honest opinion, good, bad, or indifferent. So let's get this unboxed and check it out. So guys, opening the box, you have this little box inside that houses a nicely braided cord with a USB-A connector and a 3.5 millimeter jack, giving you a choice of what you want to connect to. Also, this little box has some strange arrows and letters, or maybe if you're an old school gamer from the 80s, not so strange, as this is a button combination to win a game. Up, up, down, down, left, right, etc nice touch right also in the box guys you have some instructions and a splitter cable and the headset itself now this headset might look a little bit chunky but it's incredibly light it's made from mainly plastic with some gorgeous padding on the ear cups and the headband it also has these great green accents which i really like now guys, on the left ear cup, you have the boom mic and you have a volume wheel. Yes, a wheel. Now, I do like physical controls and sometimes, as more often now we are seeing, are a lot of touch controls. And when you're in the middle of the action, you don't really want to be messing around with touch. Also on the left guys, you have a mute button. Again, physical. So. To check out the sound clarity, I played a couple of games and I listened to some music. And I've got to say, right. the sound somewhere. quality for gaming Here's something was great. I'm wondering. Who the hell In heavy contact! All down. Because this E7000 is wired, there is no latency at all, so that's a good thing. And the bass and highs are really good. These gunshots were very, very realistic. Now, for music, well, given that these are not focused at audio junkies, they sound pretty good. The soundstage is wide, they have enough bass, and if anything, are fairly well controlled. And let's face it, guys, these bad boys are rocking 50 millimeter drivers. Take a look at these. They look pretty cool, right? And do you know what? After 30 minutes of constant use, they were really, really comfortable and there was no fatigue in the sound. I'm gonna take them off now because I can't actually hear you. They are quite sound isolating. And um, yeah, I'm probably shouting a lot. But guys, honestly, listening to them was a joy. And also the mic is noise canceling. So if you want to use them for video calls, again, not designed for this sort of stuff as such, but they will work just fine. So guys, if you're looking for a cool gaming headset that you can use for PC, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, whatever, these are a great bet. I'll leave any links and pricing in the description. I do know that Eeks are gonna be running uh, a promotion very, very soon. So keep an eye out on that description. And guys, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section. And thanks to you guys for watching. And thanks to Ixa for sending me this E7000 Fenrir gaming headset to review. I've reviewed a lot of Ixa products and they are all good in their own right. 
So if you're interested in watching any of those, I shall leave a card up here, or it might be up here, but anyway, I'll leave a card up and you can watch some of those. And guys, if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. It really does make a difference. And if you'd like to see more of my content, then please subscribe and click on that bell icon to be notified of new videos. Thanks to you guys for watching. I'm Dave with Seen for a Lens. And I'll see you the next time. Bye for now.